I'm William Gein of the Alley Pack. And I'm the guy that the people in Washington, D.C. really don't want you to listen to. It's one thing I think we can all agree on, we've all agreed on, and it's over time that it's already happened. Repeat with me if you agree, secure our border. Secure our border. Secure our border. Secure our border. People are dying. People are dying because that border stands open. Illegal immigration hurts American jobs, American wages, American health, American security, and sometimes the very lives of American citizens. If you're going to come to our country, you better come here legally, and you better learn how to speak English. Speak English. Speak American. Speak American. I was raised to be tolerant. I was raised to be kind by my family and my country. And I'm sick and tired of seeing every single American good grace being exploited. Everything that's good about us is being taken advantage of. And we have a lot of big name politicians that are trying to help the illegal aliens. And I think I know why. I think that a lot of these uh, corrupt politicians and illegal aliens have something in common. Lying, cheating, and stealing everything they can from the American taxpayer. I've been told by some people that the Tea Party movement is not interested in fighting against illegal immigration and amnesty. Is that true? Is it true? Secure our borders, enforce our existing immigration laws, no amnesty, illegals go home. And all you congressional candidates out there, you say that, you'll find yourself in Washington, D.C. next January. And we want to take our hat off to the great state of Arizona that just passed the toughest state laws in the country. Let's carry that to every other state. I want to see the Arizona law in 50 states. Now, our friend Ted Poe, who's a great speaker, and, and I'm glad he came here from Texas, he told you a story about the Alamo. And I encourage you to remember the Alamo because I can assure you that Mexico does. They remember the Alamo, and it's not the story you remember. Now, these amnesty-supporting politicians, they're wanting to give things to legal aims like in-state tuition. They're systematically replacing Americans in our jobs, in our schools, in our health care resources, and if they turn 15 million plus illegal aliens into voters, they're going to replace you at the ballot box. Politicians like Barack Obama, Janet Napolitano, Harry Reid, Pelosi, Senator Graham and John McCain. Is anybody here that considers themselves a John McCain supporter? Can we see your hand? Uh, there's one. They have, he had three in Murfreesboro. He's got one here in Greenville, South Carolina. John McCain is working behind the scenes with Senator Lindsey Graham to help Obama and Napolitano pass this immigration reform amnesty. And why? Because it's a plan. It's a plan to make our borders about like the border between North and South Carolina. I've read most of the plan. It involves every American being stuck into a Big Brother biometric national ID system, and the borders will become like state borders. Illegal immigration isn't just happening. This is something that's being done to you because you would never accept this. So they're making it happen anyway. It made people say the Tea Party's full of conspiracy theories. I tell you what I'm talking about, it's conspiracy, but it's no theory. This is no theory. This is a fact. And I'll stake, I'll stake my life on that being the fact. I've read the documents, if you take the time to read. Now, I want to address something about uh, you guys being anti-government. You know, is this the militia rally? Am I in the right place? Yeah? Anti-government. That's what you are. Bill Clinton came out and said that this anti-government um, rhetoric 
like I'm espousing here, is dangerous because in the grand echo chamber, somebody crazy out there is going to do something crazy and stupid like Tim McVeigh. Let me tell you something. Don't ever point a finger at millions of Americans like you and say you're like Tim McVeigh. Shut up, Bill Clinton. Shut up. Last time I checked, you weren't in office anymore. I'd appreciate it if you shut up. The most disturbing aspect about this is that people like Janet Napolitano right now are trying to demonize tens of millions of Americans because of their political views. That's not American. We can disagree in America, but we don't tell police officers that you're potentially dangerous because you support gun rights or you care about illegal immigration, and that's exactly what they're doing because you are a political uprising and they want to put you down. So I need to explain something to Obama and Janet Napolitano and uh, Senator Graham and uh, Senator uh, McCain. You are not the government. The Constitution is the government. The, go the government is a, is a set of documents, folks. And just because we're against you doesn't mean we're against the government. We're the Americans. You're the traitors and sellouts in Washington, D.C. Now, since I'm on Senator Graham's doorstep, I have an announcement to make today that I have thought long and hard about saying to anybody. But considering the fact that Senator Graham is the number one Republican in the country trying to pass amnesty for illegal immigrants, and considering the fact that he, he presented in a group I do consider to be racist called the National Council of La Raza, the National Council of the Race, have you heard of them? Senator Graham spoke to them. He got an award from it. And he said that America is more of an idea than a place. Thank good, thank goodness my granddaddy who fought in the Ardennes Forest is in the ground and didn't hear that America is more of an idea than a place. He said that nobody owns this. Nobody owns being an American is what he told this racist pro-amnesty group. Sometimes I wonder what it would take to make a person sell their own country out like that. And there's one thing that it could be that I'm going to put out in the open here today. It's a secret that Lindsey Graham has. It's no secret in Washington, D.C. The Democrats know this secret. But Obama, Janet, and Napolitano know this secret. The business industries in Washington that won't open borders and amnesty know this secret. The general public doesn't know this secret. I hope this secret isn't being used as leverage over Senator Graham. So today, I'm saying, Senator Graham, you need to come forward and tell people about your alternative lifestyle and your homosexuality. Come out of that closet, Lindsay. Come out of that log cabin closet. Barney Frank is more honest and brave than you. Because at least we know about Barney Frank, and nobody's going to hold it over his head. And we got to just, you know, and I'm, look, I'm a tolerant person. I don't care about your private life, Lindsay. But as our U.S. Senator, I need to figure out why you're trying to sell out your own countrymen, and I need to make sure you being gay in it. I'm going to take some heat about that one on Monday. You can count on that. But look. I know a lot of you fought hard on health care, and I'm not going to talk long because I know you've been out here and a lot of you traveled a long way like I did to be here. Health care is a very important issue, but I want you to all consider the prominence of it. Don't let that health care be the end all be all. Let's talk about the things that unite Americans, which is the Constitution. When they call you a racist and pretend that you're a violent group of people, they're attacking your freedom of speech. And when they try to sabotage your events, they're attacking your rights to assemble. Stand on the rules. We are Americans. We agree on the rules. And it says in the Constitution that all states shall be protected from invasion. All states. Let's bring it to the rules. Let's unify white, black, Latino, Republican, Democrat, unaffiliated. Because you can't just go vote this November. You can't just go vote. What you've got to do is make sure that 2010 is the year that we had a peaceful, Political revolution. Revolution now. Revolution America. Let this be the year that a hundred years from now people are taught about it in the history books. And great, people tell their great grandkids about the days back in 2010 when American citizens like you stood up and took your country back. Nothing less than history will do. It has to be historic. It has to be a revolution. Thank you so much, Greenville.